It starts off with this feeling, right? How can I optimize what I'm doing? If you'd never written before, how would you hold a pen to write? I mean, yeah, I agree. What I'm saying is stupid. Nice little self pep talk. <laughs> Good morning, my favorite butterscotch tooting iguana. Right, yeah, we're gonna film the hand in beeswax video today. See what that does. But I, I also have another idea, but I... Going to bed last night, I could feel this gross, like, victim complex coming over me. This feeling that I've done so much and I've done so much right, and I deserve to be in a decent spot. That is a nice stop sign, okay. <laughs> like I don't deserve any, like I don't, I feel like I don't deserve anything, let's get that straight. But I feel like I've earned to be, I've, uh, I've put in the work to be in a better spot than I am. I don't, I don't want, you know, a handout or someone to give me anything. I just, I feel like I'm teetering on this edge point I'm edging myself. I'm teetering on this edge point of about to make it where I have been trying to make it. And that doesn't mean making money to buy cool cars. That means making enough money that I'm no longer thinking about money. And I can just, I can do the jobs that I, the, the, the videos and work on the things that I want to work on. Yes, very privileged position for someone to be in, but I feel like I've put in the work over the past eight years to be in that position. And I, I, th I think I have a problem that I haven't figured out yet which is okay, like we all have our problems and we're all trying to figure them out. I, that, that, that doesn't mean that I'm broken or whatever. Um, which is, where, what is gonna get me to my goal now? Because of everything I've tried, I've been very persistent at a lot of things. What's gonna get me to where I need to be? I keep thinking that it's the, I've explained, I've explained what I think is going to get me to this decent place, which is this doing well on a daily basis, that I can then generate revenue from this, mostly just from ad revenue, and then that gives me the financial freedom to make whatever videos I want to make and do them however I want to do them, merged in with how the viewer wants to see them. And so to get this bigger, it's not working just with the YouTube algorithm because the I haven't figured out the thumbnails, how they do well. Titles, I'm not sure how much those matter. And then the content is around people slowly getting involved. So you know recently on the social automation clips I've been making, I, I guess they're like semi-compilation edits with big names and then fitting my stuff into it. I found that they've been doing all right, but I did see one yesterday evening that was like the same style, which is annoying. It's the first one I've seen in a long time. It's the same, st it's the first I've seen done in this style that is what I was trying to do. Not that that's a copy. But it was so good. It was done really well. Way better than the ones I've done. And it got me to this realization that actually I can't, I've been thinking about just making clips as, just making as many as possible and then pumping them out with a little bit of creative behind them. But no, I need to look at these clips as their own, um, like these videos have to be as good as anything that I'd put out on my page, on my account. So instead of focusing now on doing two a day, I'm gonna focus on doing one 
really good one a day and see if that gets us anywhere. I, I think my primary goal there is for those clips to get more views across the platforms and then I do what I want. Uh, sorry, and then see if those views materialize into uh, subscribers or actual viewers of the main YouTube channel of this. We'll see. I think that's my, yeah, that's my focus next. I forgot I have a meeting today with the with Restore, the wellness place where I did the um, the sauna. We'll see how that goes. I that this will be our second discussion, and it's more of seeing like how I can have an ongoing contract with them to do like I don't know a, a sauna series segment in this or one video a week or sorry a month at their place be cool to do i i do wonder what this like is if you're a viewer and you're following along on a daily basis how do you look at my mentality mentality for doing things whatever I just just getting through my life as a, as a content creator I feel like I switch direction a lot which is not ideal but I constantly I'm thinking about what could be better than what I'm doing right now how can I optimize what I'm doing right now which also leads me in this spot of not doing the same thing for long enough to see a result. But I do, I do feel like I'm doing things for long enough. Like I've done, like just let's take the clipping, for example. I've been doing that for two, two or so months now and tried lots of different styles of video and I've let them cook let them simmer i think we'll use simmer for a little bit to see if anything comes of them and then i'm making it i'm making it's taking iterative steps to improve the process and slowly get to where i need to be like this is a whole new field that i'm diving into and i thought was going to be way easier than it actually is so when someone says there's an art to clipping and the work that goes into it, there really is. Okay. Let's get home and get working. Let's do this, come on. Nice little self pep talk. <laughs> today just kind of, I got some good stuff done, but today just kind of sucked. It was a day that st started off as it was. Obviously, you saw the clip before this. And then, like, I want to be positive about this, but I also want to be, want to do be open. <laughs> I wanted to film the hand in lotion video. Okay, so, so things started off. I started off with this feeling, right? And then a couple more things happened, one of which was the meeting that I was meant to have at this wellness place this morning uh, i sent an email just to say are we good to meet in like an hour no uh i need to reschedule all right like in and of itself no biggie that's a bummer then something else went pretty badly that i was expecting to go well today and then okay i was like all right let's just just deal with the problems that we have and just like let's look at the things that we can control. So I made what I think is my best clip yet. <laughs> I'll tell you the extents that I went to. <laughs> They're not crazy, but All right. So here, I had, I had so many good things to do today. So I'm just gonna like reel through the things that I did, and how they did or didn't pan out. So this is a scene from. Uh, 
the Casey Neistat and the Diary of a Serial CEO interview. So I just took a clip and then used AI to generate the background. And then I put myself in there too. Uh, you want to just see the video? I don't even know. Where, oh, I'll just play it here. Oh gosh, where is it? Okay, hold on. Get the volume up. Why were you unsupervised? Where were your parents? If you'd never written before, how would you hold a pen to write? <laughs> right, like if you've seen someone else write before, you're obviously going to do it that way or some variation. But what happens if like I see a pen for the first time and I'm like, okay, well I'll I'll hold it in my fist and I'll just do draw like this. Objectively delusional. I think that's my best piece yet. I really like that. But it didn't, it, it, I posted it on my second account, which the, like only has like 700 or so followers. And then I posted it on all of my, uh, of the clips accounts. I think the most it's gotten is like two and a half K on one of the YouTube shorts accounts, but otherwise didn't really go anywhere, which is super frustrating because I thought that was a pretty good one. Perhaps it's what I'm saying is kind of like, I mean, yeah, I agree. What I'm saying is stupid, but the whole point that I'm trying to get to is that while some of the clips may make sense, many of them may make the person think a little bit more, like what is this, what's it about, who is this guy? You know, just asking those questions of themselves. So I'll basically say that none of that is is going well. Try, we'll, we'll keep trying. We'll try different things, but none of that's going well. What next? Um, creating the intro section for every pod vlog is, I mentioned, it's like pretty time consuming and they don't always make a great deal of sense. So I thought, what if I can get the transcripts from my video and from another video and then create a chat GPT script that will make the sentence, oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm going to here. Let's start with the intro for the YouTube video. I can get the transcript, give it to chat GPT and say, use the, you know, give, essentially give me a response of the timestamps, make a sentence that, you know, kind of makes sense, but is odd. And then give me the timestamps and the words so I can go back into my edit and make the cuts. But it gave me some pretty good ones, but the words were from all over the place. Like I'm, I'm talking like I had to cut up, I would had to have cut up like 60 different segments to get the 60 words or however many it was. And I was trying to adapt it. I was like, look, okay, now only use, because a transcript comes out in like seven or eight words at a time, if that, small, small semi-sentences. I don't know the right wording to help the AI understand exactly what I want, but that was useless. So that was a, maybe it gets me a little bit closer to one day figuring out, but for now, waste of time. You know what? I should just ask ChatGPT to help me. Like this is my goal. Help me ask me questions to get there so that it, like it's learning with me. I'm learning with it. So there's that. And then we're on the same line of transcripts and I thought, oh, what if I could use AI to create the dialogue between two different videos? So like in this, the video I just showed you, I feed it that transcript and a transcript from my video and I say, all right, make a dialogue between 10 and 30 seconds with these two videos. It has to be like silly, but it has to also make sense. Um, that was just f flipping annoying too, because like in an interview podcast, it could be two different people talking. So like in this example, I think his name's Stephen. Like Stephen could ask me a question, I respond, and then Casey asks me a question when actually I'm meant to be the, playing the role of Casey in this interview. So that didn't work out either. And I was not in the 
right frame of mind to do the hand in beeswax video just wasn't there and it wasn't going to be good and it's just going to be a waste of time and i wasn't really feeling like doing it either so i decided to make a photo post on insta on instagram on tiktok uh i've seen lots of stuff recently about how good they're meant to be people were meant to enjoy them a lot that took me i went and got screenshots from a video from each month of 2023 and then added like my own caption to each of those that's done fucking horrendously excuse my french i might be a little bit frustrated about that so that's done really badly that's like under 500 views and it's been up for three hours or so what else was there I think that was it. Just been, it's just been like, this is a bit of a moan, I know, but these times are, they come around every now and again. And I think if I were to attribute where all of these, these thoughts, this like negative energy thoughts around all of this, What's my best, what's the best way I can say this? We have all these negative things. You, you have all positive things and you have negative things that happen all around you. And you can choose whether you absorb all these things that come at you and then you can decide how those things affect you. And I have chosen to let those things affect me in a negative way. And I think the reason that I'm in that negative space is because I'm constantly thinking about where, uh, like, have enough money saved, like, we're good there. But I'm constantly thinking about, like, if I have a month that doesn't make as much as we live on each month, that's a problem. Like, I don't, we don't want to be going down that route. And so that is constantly on the back of my mind. And how do I get that? Like that is this like victim mentality, men victim mentality. It's terrible. I want to get out of it. I've mentioned this before, like I feel like I've put in the work for this. I've put in the work to be in a good spot and I'm not in a good spot. And I don't look at that thinking, well, okay, you know, someone needs to come along and put me in the right spot. I think, what can I, what, what do I need to change? What do I need to adapt? Because what I've been doing doesn't seem to be working. <laughs> right? Which is gutting. If I love what I do now, but if you'd have told me when I started doing TikTok, I've learned so much, so I wouldn't change it for for anything. But if you were to tell me that, Oliver, you can have a choice right now. You can have you you can do TikTok and get to where you are right now, or you can do YouTube and you can average like 100k views a video forget money made off of each of those i would pick youtube like long form videos i would pick that i wish i'd started doing these sooner but that, that is what it is why because youtube is a place where you can get to know someone better like the, the videos are longer format and you build something with people you build you know, people start to care about you know the, the the person you are and what you're doing Whereas you don't get any of that on TikTok. People just scroll. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, we've talked about this before too, haven't we? 
no one recognizes the name or the handle. They just recognize a face. But it doesn't matter because they scroll onto the next video as soon as that one's done. So yeah, you, you don't build you don't build anything on TikTok. It's kind of just it's 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 there when you post and then it's gone. So yeah, I, I think if I'm going to top this off, like my thoughts here, it's not a day of doing nothing. Or like I, I've still, I've still tried two new things that I've never tried before. A photo post on TikTok, would I be trying that again? Maybe not. Uh, a more, a, a better style of video on, like for the clips. This suffer today, I'm sorry. Uh, and I didn't make the video I wanted to but it was good that we got ahead of ourselves yesterday you know what's crazy in my, in my head I think that just like one or two decent brand deals like something that that like fills up what I the let's say monetary need for a month or two months is enough to get me would like eat that would take all of my problems away and I would get away from this place of oh I need to get I need to get some views I need to make some money it's tough dude it's uh it's tough I feel like I'm not feel like I'm about to cry saying it's tough makes me feel like I'm watching a show where I, I should be crying um, side note, while I've got my camera roll open, um, my sister is currently rowing the Atlantic Ocean. I don't know why you would do that, but she sent a video of a marlin, like this is just a picture, obviously, but a video of a marlin that stuck its nose into their, I don't know what, boat, kayak thing that they're rowing across the ocean in three different times. So three, what do you call it? Holes in the boat while they're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, literally in the middle. They're halfway on their journey. I don't know how they got those photos. But that's pretty gnarly, isn't it? Yeah, like, look at this for a hole in the fiberglass. That's obviously water in the boat. This is what, this was pretty harrowing. So this is obviously the nose, whatever you call it, from a swordfish, poking through the area of the boat where people sleep. This was from a uh, a boat a couple of years ago. But people, they row for two hours on and off. People would be sleeping right where that came through. So if there was someone in that area sleeping in that space where they normally do at that time, pierced. I don't know what happens then. You're in the middle of the ocean. What do you do? Sat phone, flare, help me. All right, let's finish this. Tomorrow's going to be better, okay? Tomorrow's going to be good. Tomorrow is going to be good. What do we have planned? We're going to we're going to change the sign out avenue your sausage. I don't understand why Notion just like randomly signs out every now and again. I'm also not entirely sure which email I use. It is this one. Okay, cool. Let's have a look at the sprint. We have got... So, pod vlog clip. Yes, we did that. Edit TikTok 1. We did that. Shoot TikTok 1. Technically, we didn't do that, but it's done. Pod vlog edit. Done. So it was just a second pod vlog clip that we didn't do. Maybe I can do that later and we can still finish the day as a success. Tomorrow, edit YouTube video. Post the TikTok, which we've already done. That was the one we posted yesterday. Shoot TikTok 2, edit TikTok 2, the hand one. And then make two clips. It's getting a better head shape. Head shape? Head space for tomorrow. Oh, sucrosomial magnesium.
500 euro. Hello, dude. All right, see you tomorrow.